students, uh, welcome to Nuclear Physics 1, lecture number 15. I am Dr. Parvez Ahmed. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will have a discussions on natural radioactive series. So, uh, let's proceed towards uh, today's lecture. So, before proceeding towards uh, the natural radioactive series, uh, first of all, uh, we will have a brief discussions on the type of radio radioactive decay. So, different type of the radioactive decay, they are being uh, summarized and given in this table below. So, here in this table, uh, on the leftmost, we have the type of the radioactive decay. Uh, then we have the particles emitted uh, during that radioactive decay. Uh, the effect of this radioactive decay on the mass number and uh, on uh, the atomic uh, number. So, uh, if we say we have uh, the type of radioactive decay uh, is alpha decay. So, by alpha decay we mean that uh, during this decay uh, the helium nuclei they are emitted from uh, the heavier nucleus. So, with this the atomic mass uh, number is decreased by 4 and uh, the atomic uh, number is decreases by uh, 2. Uh, if we say uh, the type of radioactive decay is beta decay. So, during this decay, the particle which is emitted from the nucleus uh, is beta particles. Uh, with this decay, no change in the mass number, uh, but the atomic number is increased by 1. Uh, if we have gamma emissions as a type of radioactive decay, so uh, during this emissions, uh, we have energy that has been emitted from that radioactive nucleus, uh, but it has no effect uh, on the either on the mass number and uh, char number uh, and if we have positrons emission so positron emission means that uh, during this type of radioactive decay uh, we will have uh, positron as the particle uh, emitted from the nucleus and it will has no effect uh, on the mass number but uh, the atomic number will be increases by uh, one and if we have the electron captures, uh, so during the electron captures, uh, the particle which is emitted is X-ray protons. Uh, it has no effect, no change in the mass number, but uh, the atomic number uh, is decreases by uh, one. So uh, one should remember also that uh, during alpha and beta decay, the nuclei try to become more stable uh, among uh, the isobars and 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 gamma decay uh, in excited states uh, decays towards the ground states without changing the nuclear uh, species. I mean, uh, uh, what 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 it mean in short? In short, mean that with alpha and beta decay, the nuclear species they are being changed uh, from one type to others. I mean, from one. Uh, I mean, so from one type of the atom to other type of the atom. But during the gamma decay, the atoms only uh, come from the excited state to de excited state, uh, but it has no effect on the uh, nuclear species. I mean, that is, uh, the nuclear species do not change from uh, one type to uh, the other type. So, type of the radioactive decay can also be summarized here. Uh, you can see it here uh, in this table in which the nuclear number. Uh, that is the increase or decrease and the uh, atomic number is plotted against the increase or uh, decrease and the uh, neutron number. So, uh, the type of radioactive decay depends on the particular type of nuclear instability, uh, which is uh, whether the neutron to proton ratio is either too high or too low, and on the mass energy relations among the ferron nucleus. A daughter nucleus and emitting particles. So here you can see as an example, uh, this is this is a particular nucleus, and if uh, we say that this particular nucleus it emits uh, positron. So by positron we mean that uh, uh, beta positive. So during this decay, uh, the neutron number will be increased by one, uh, which is here you can see for yourself, and. Uh, the proton number will be decreases by one. Uh, but if we said that during the decay of this particular element, uh, we say proton is uh, emitted, proton is the emitting particle, 
so the number of neutron will remain stable and the number of protons or the atomic number will be decreases by one if alpha particles are the emitting particle so both uh, the neutron number and the proton number uh, they will be uh, decreases by uh, by two uh, and if the emitting particle is neutron so the number of neutron de uh, decreases by one and then a uh, uh, number of proton is remain stable and f beta uh, beta negative are electron are emitting during the uh, the decaying process uh, so the neutron number will be decay uh, will be decreased by one and uh, the proton number or the atomic number will be increases by one or we can say that here a neutrons uh, will be converted into a proton and here in beta positive uh, it means that uh, a protons it will be converted into uh, what it will be converted into a neutrons so uh, where uh, do these particles come from so this is normally a questions a student might ask uh, whenever they are atten uh, attending the lecture about uh, uh, the uh, uh, natural radioactive series are uh, they, they, they are uh, they, they find some discussions on uh, alpha decay beta decay or gamma decay so normally the people have this question that where do these particles come from so be remember these particles generally come from the nuclei of the atomic isotopes uh, which are not uh, stable so the decay chain of uranium produces all uh, three of these form of radiations. I mean alpha, beta, and gamma. All these three type of chains have been produced by uh, the by the radiations uh, of the by the decay uh, by the decay chain of uranium. So uh, let's look at them in more detail. So here you can see all of them. Uh, we have the starting. Uh, just like we mentioned that all these are being produced due to the decay chain of uranium so here you can see that we have uranium 238 uh, which has a half life equal to 4.5 and 10 raised to the power 9 years uh, so when uranium 238 decays uh, so it decay with the emission of alpha particles it's converted uh, the element is converted into thorium uh, which has a half uh, uh, which, which has an atomic, uh, atomic mass equal to 234 and a half-life equal to 24.5 days. So thorium decay by uh, beta decay, we are emission of beta particles, so it's converting into uh, protoxanium uh, with atomic mass 234 but with a half-life uh, 1.14 uh, minute. And then again, uh, we have uh, the beta decay and uh, protoxanium uh, is basically decays into uranium-234. Uh, uranium-234 has uh, the half-life equal to 2.33 and 10 raised to the power of uh, 5 years. And then uh, uranium-234 is decay into uh, thorium by alpha decay, that is thorium-230. Thorium 230 has a half life equal to 8.3 and 10 raised to power 4 years. And then it decay, uh, then again we have alpha decay from the thorium. Uh, I mean, from the thorium we have radium, radium 226, and it has uh, the half life equal to 1590 years. Uh, and then radium decay into radon, uh, where alpha decay, uh, radon has the atomic mass to uh, 22. Uh, and it has a half life equal to 2.8 to uh, 5 days. So, redon then uh, has alpha decay uh, and it converted into polonium with the atomic mass 218 uh, with a half life equal to 3.05 minutes, uh, which then decay to uh, lead uh, via alpha decay. Uh, lead has the atomic mass equal to 214 with a half life equal to 26.8 uh, minutes. And then again, we have beta decay from uh, lead and it's converted into bismuth uh, 214 with the half life equal to 19.7 minutes. And uh, again, uh, we have from bismuth uh, beta decay that converted into polonium 214 
is a half life equal to 1.5 and to 10 raised to power minus uh, 4 seconds and uh, from polonium uh, we have alpha decay that converted into lead uh, to 10 with a half life equal to 22 years and the lead 22 then have uh, beta decay which converted into bismuth 210 uh, with a half life equal to uh, 5 days and then the base meth, uh, I mean it, uh, it has beta decay uh, with the beta decay it can work into polonium 210 with a half life equal to 140 days and uh, the last uh, I mean which is uh, at the last we get a more stable uh, nuclei from uh, polonium 210 uh, where alpha decay so uh, the alpha decay uh, convert the polonium 210 and to uh, lead to 206 uh, and lead 206 is the most uh, stable nuclei we have from uh, this uh, series. So all this series uh, you can observe clearly here that how we have the process. So here is the process that we start from uranium 238 proceed toward thorium then again uh, I mean here you can see that how we, we have the process and how uh, the elements uh, there be changing uh, there, there be changing their types their different type of the decay that is alpha decays uh, uh, beta decay uh, and uh, beta positive or beta negative and here you can see that how we get at the end uh, the most uh, stable particle that is uh, let a uh, two zero uh, six so from this uh, uh, I mean from this uh, uh, photograph you can easily observe uh, the decay, the reactive, the natural reactive series. So that's all we have for this lecture. Uh, thanks for watching, but stay tuned in the next lecture because in the next lectures uh, we will talk about the nuclear uh, stability. So stay tuned with that. Till then, bye bye.